The lander and rover of the CHANDRAYAN-3 mission are not responding. Little chance of waking up. Attempts to activate the Indian lander and rover on the moon have so far failed. And the chances of waking up after a frosty, moonlit night are decreasing with each passing hour. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is still trying to establish contact. But everything indicates that the lander and rover of the CHANDRAYAN-3 mission will not wake up. In August, India became the fourth country to land on the moon and the first to achieve the feat near the Silver Globe's South Pole. Since then, the lander and rover have conducted various experiments to measure the temperature at the landing site and analyze the composition of the lunar soil, stopping only briefly for a photo session. During the mission, originally scheduled for two weeks, Indian equipment detected sulfur, aluminum, calcium, iron, chromium, titanium, manganese, silicon and oxygen. Sulfur is of particular interest to countries venturing into space because it could potentially be used to produce concrete. In addition, the lander detected movement under the lunar surface. After two weeks, the CHANDRAYAN-3 mission lander and rover was put into hibernation, with the hope that after 14 days, day and night on the moon last just over 14 Earth days, it would be able to return to operation. On Friday, September 22, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, said it had made attempts to establish communication with the Vikram lander and the Progyan rover to check their condition. Subsequent attempts to wake up the rover and lander did not bring satisfactory results. Everything indicates that the duo will never wake up. Efforts have been made to establish communication with the Vikram lander and Progyan rover to ascertain their condition. So far, no signals have been received from them. Attempts to establish contact will continue, ISRO said in a statement. Surviving a night on the moon would be no small feat. Especially when you consider that temperatures at the pole of our natural satellite have dropped to around minus 200 minus 250 degrees Celsius. As ISRO engineers admitted, such temperatures could have damaged the instruments on board Vikram and Prugian. The lander and rover are part of the CHANDRAYAN-3 mission, which also has an orbiter orbiting the moon. The lander is called Vikram, which means, Vala, in Sanskrit, and the rover is called Pragyan, which means, Wisdom, in Sanskrit. The name of the entire mission, Chandrayaan means, lunar vehicle, in Sanskrit. The CHANDRAYAN-3 mission is India's third attempt to reach the moon. The first CHANDRAYAN-1 mission was launched in 2008, but it was not expected to land. It consisted of an orbiter and an impactor and conducted the most detailed search for water ice on the moon to date. She also made topographic maps of the surface of the silver globe. It lasted over a year and was an important stimulus for the Indian space program.
the CHANDRAYAN-2 mission, which was launched in July 2019, consisted of three parts, an orbiter, a lander and a rover. The Vikram lander was to land near the moon's south pole and launch the six-wheeled Prugyan rover to search for water and other minerals. Unfortunately, in the last phase of the flight, just before touching the surface of the silver globe, the controllers of the CHANDRAYAN-2 mission lost contact with the Vikram lander. A few months later, astronomers found the remains of Indian equipment. However, the CHANDRAYAN-2 mission was not a complete failure. The orbiter was not damaged and is still observing the lunar surface. It also provides communication for the rover and lander on the lunar surface.